Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall. This time we're doing it on the Hunter, Solo Hunter. With a few differences. I'm using Unstoppable Hand Cannon. I'm using Overload Scout Rifle. And no anti-barrier. Become apparent as we go. If you're looking for the full loadout, uh, as always, it will be at the end of the video. So go and check it out. So, man, I have slept. I have slept on Overload Scout Rifle. You're going to get a taste of it right here. Overload Scout Rifle is very, very good, very strong. If you match the burn on it especially. So, we have our first Overload here. Just take out one of these little goblins. And then it stops the Overload. Explosive Rounds helps, as we know. Explosive Rounds work really well with Overload because obviously you get the initial hit. But you also get the explosion as you see there the numbers they all are unstoppable uh, overload so from the safety of right back here we take the overload out but i know some people are going to be wondering how am i dealing with the uns the, the anti-barrier well i haven't got a piece of armor on that helps me i'm using celestial night hop for that big and it's 400 and just just shy of 460,000 on the boss it does uh that is, again, it will all be in the loadout uh, at the end, but that is using uh, Marksman for the super. Now, the cool thing about Marksman is when you're pre getting precision hits, it gives you super energy back on your mark, as you can see there. What I'm using is a sleeper simulator. I haven't used sleeper in ages, and I've I, I done a run earlier where I had an anti-barrier. I've already done a run where I didn't use uh, an unstoppable mod. Uh, Sleeper can do really good damage in about three shots. But I started to work out about halfway through the run. I wasn't using my barrier weapon. Because Sleeper can put down a barrier champion. Two shots. That's crazy. One of them has to be a crit. The other one can be a body. Although I was... I think I messed up once. I think I, think I hit two bodies and had to wait for it to unshield. I've also got Lucent Finisher on to go with all the other mods and stuff that I've got on which again, I'll repeat it one more time, uh, the full setup that I'm using is at the end of the video. So Lucent Finisher kind of allows us to, uh, to kind of uh, burn the heavy, not so much burn it but we're not, we're not really too worried about heavy because we control the flow of heavy by finishing champions. So you see here I can just about, I can just about make an unstoppable, finishable, with one shot of the sleeper. So I think on the boss it hits for about 127,000. Now bearing in mind we are matching the burn as solar burn. So without solar burn, you have 25% off of that. See, two shots, two shots on the champion's down. No need for a barrier weapon whatsoever. Now, I've done a tight run on this. If you haven't seen it, I've already said you should go and check it out. This, I think this runs like nearly two and a half minutes faster than the Titan run. The Hunter makes light work of this. A, because we're utilizing solar weapons. So we're buying into the solar uh, burn. Also, there, I ran Void. I think I've ran Void before. Uh, there, there literally is like one Void shield we've got to worry about. Not really going to worry about it too much. The Scout Rifle allows us to put a lot more damage on from range. Lucent Finish, I had that on last time, but that really helps to, to really get involved. You see here, just about finishable. I'll just put a couple of Scout Rifle shots on. He's finishable. So we are in, we are in control of how much we can use Sleeper. Now, I'm not going to pick that up because I'm going to take this champion once I clear these ads. Now... Here's a couple of real interesting things. First and foremost, the super, I'm only going to use it once before the boss. And that is on the mini boss. Now, when I done this run, and I want this to be known, that uh, Bungie had started the maintenance, and you'll see exactly what I mean. Because I'd done this maybe twice with different weapons, but still with Celestial. Celestial Nighthawk will put the minotaur down with the one shot from where I'm going to shoot it from but because of maintenance you'll see it I, I'm not making it up 
just in the video. Uh, I took all his health off him, and then he regenerated just a portion of his health, enough that he, it, you know, I had to shoot him again. But again, you'll see that. On a normal run, because I've done it twice before, with, as I say, with different weapons, uh, it's a one hit. So when we get to this point, I save that goblin and I, I hit him with my charge melee and that allows me to become radiant, as you can see on the side. Radiant will allow you to take down this uh, Hydra with one shot. That's why I do it. Now, we're not going to pick that heavy brick up. We're going to allow these champions to come out. Let this train pass and then there we go. That's the one I missed because you have to hit one crit. There's my crit. A crit and a body. That's what you've got to hit. And I was already charged. So I got a body, then a crit. So, as you can see, champions, no problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to sit at the back. Now, as I was doing this, uh, I was thinking to myself, ah, oh, well, at this part, there's a ton of enemies I'm going to drop heavy. Do not rely on what might drop. Because the other thing that went through my mind, especially with the heavy, was, well, I've got two unstoppables coming up. I'm going to use one shot on each of them if I need to. But I'll, at minimum, drop two heavy ammo shots per brick from them. I might get five from one, but definitely going to get double the amount I'm going to use. So, as you can see, I've got seven. In my mind, I was like, well, I've got seven now. By the time I take them out, I'll have nine. And then there's unstoppables. Unstoppables were really what I was planning on using to get my heavy because, you know, we're going to be finishing the, the champions with two shots, the, the barriers. So we're not going to be able to finish those. And the overload we're going to take from relative range. So you'll see it here. Boss doesn't teleport straight away. He runs down. He never normally does that. Hit crit. Should have killed him. Got his health back. And he will die from one shot. And there we go. I had to hit him again. That... I 100% believe that was because of maintenance. And I normally have about at least a brick, maybe two. And there we go. You know, and I got the two shots that I used back. I didn't gain any more. So, you know, when you do your run, if you use this loadout, your golden gun will finish them. Because it done it with me before maintenance started twice. So... Next section, I, there's not, as I said this in my last video, the strategy really comes when uh, you get to the play, the, the mines. Here, you're just, you're playing the champions. That's what you're doing. So here on this section, so every other section, what I've tried to do is clear ads, then take the champions. That's, the only time you can't do that is at the train tracks, and even then you're in safe cover. You know, if you come up the stairs, those little stairs that I came up with the heavy ammo was, the minute you come up there, you get your champions. Use that little barricade in front of you to, to take the champions safely. You know, so you're out of the line of sight from the ads. So here we go. I've got 12. Sleeper holds 13 unless you've got ammo reserves on, which I went with uh, different things. You'll see them at the end. So what I'm going to do is get him finishable, which he is. Once you stop an unstoppable, and you put your sleeper simulant shot on, you're still going to have a second or two. Oh, jeez, look at that. Now I can, now I can actually finish, I can actually shoot this next unstoppable. I don't have to finish him. I've got a couple of bricks. It's like Christmas for heavy here. Uh, one thing I have noticed, though, and I'm sure a lot of people have noticed this. I'm going to put it in here just, just so I'm articulating it. Heavy ammo seems to drop sporadically. So if you drop a lot of heavy at the start of a run, you might not get a lot at the end, and and vice versa. So I haven't actually dropped a ton of heavy uh, organically, just from killing enemies. All, most of my heavy, most of it, not all of it, but most of it has come from finishing from Lucent Finisher. So I'm expecting to get a, a decent amount of heavy at the end. So... The only real problem, there was what well, one and only, I believe, Void Shield. So I just put a, put a grenade on him and used the explosive damage from my scout rifle, which I'm using staccato with uh, triple tap explosive payload. Uh, I used the explosive payload, which will do extra damage to the shields. So we've, this is really where the strategy begins and ends in this nightfall. It's a very easy nightfall. 
all I done there was just work, work, work against the the explosive, the the the, the mines that I might have to deal with. So you see, the the second goblin has nothing to do with me, but as long as you, even though he's not looking at me, if I hit him once, he will turn around to see what's happened so hard. So a body, crap. We've got one more barrier, an overload, and a unstoppable. Again, we're gonna we're gonna take out the the barrier from up here. Now I think, yep, two shots. Now I'm just gonna whittle down because the great thing about the overload, and especially when you stop one, if there's other enemies there, they will do damage as well. If you can keep his can keep him overloaded if you keep, if you can keep him from you know regenerate which we have and it's a solar burn so that unstoppable yeah he, he he's just chewing him he's just chewing through his health so what we're going to do before we do anything else obviously we've got we've still got an unstoppable up so i'm just going to whittle him down just going to chip away at him don't really want to use any more heavy not right now because we're going to have another unstoppable and another barrier so we'll get them finishable here we go and then well finish them and what i'm gonna do here now you could do this differently i suppose you could leave the scorch cannon i'm just gonna take what i'm doing is running over these spider mines same as i've done over where where the mine's gonna be to behind us to the left uh, just to get rid of them so that I'm not having to worry about them when I run over. You could leave this cannon for when you really need it. You know, maybe when the boss comes out. I, on the other hand, I was just like, well, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have a problem with the boss. Now, I became radiant there. So, you see, I'd actually done more damage on him. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to stop him. I am going to put a heavy on him. Keep an eye on A. You do not want to step on, on the first nine. You want to let that timer run down as long as you get on A before the timer runs down. It doesn't matter how much time's left. It can be two seconds left. As long as you get on there before the timer runs out, you'll be fine. Second thing that I've... And again, it's just things I didn't notice before. I'm just going to get on because I, all I need to do is kill him. Don't go... Oh, don't let... The goblins over on the right or, or the minotaur, don't let them see you. Because if they see you, if the minotaur sees you, he won't go and engage with that void shielded incendiar that's over over down at the bottom. If he goes and get engages like he is now, we can just kind of chill here. If you kill him, if you decide you're going to kill him, there is a good chance that him and the goblins will respawn when you get here. And then it's a whole world of hurt. Why, why do that? There is an overload which I killed in the Titan run. We don't see him here. You do not need to kill that overload to get platinum. So uh, that is my belief anyway. It might say at the end here. So we've got a brick of heavy. I shouldn't have picked that up. I should have left it. But it's all good. Those three adds to the, the Void Shielded Incendiar. The Void Shield and Minotaur and the Overload are all kind of having a, a three-way battle over well down at the bottom there. Earned. What I was going to do, what the reason why I shot at the Minotaur was to see when... I think I think because he's shielded, I didn't actually do any damage to him. I'd done it to his shield. If you do damage to ads that are going to despawn, as long as you do a bit of damage to them, when they despawn, you get the points. So we'll just throw a grenade. I don't know if I'm going to hit anything. It's just a... Uh, speculative grenade. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting it on these ads. If I don't get heavy here, which is cool, it can happen, and I believe it does. What it does is it enhances my chances of getting heavy at the boss, because that is the way I'm looking at it. The way I'm looking at heavy is it's per populace. You know, so the more ads you kill, the more likelihood you know that you're going to get heavy at some point. I, I thought I thought he was further up there. I thought I could radiant hit him with the the melee and proc my radiance, but we didn't need it because the scout rifle dealt with it. So there we go. 14 and a half minutes. We're at the boss. We're doing okay with heavy because here here's the thing, and this is the thing you've got to think about when you're doing this. 
Work out how many barriers you've got left. Barriers are really the only enemy you need your heavy for. So we know we've got two more. So that's another four shots. That leaves us six. I didn't know at this point how much damage Celestial Nighthawk would do against the boss. As I've already said, I think it's just shy of 460,000. So I'm not going to need a ton of shots from the sleeper to kill the boss, especially if I proc reading. Now, we did have a problem when we went here. Now, somebody said in the comments, be slower when you go down here. I, I kind of just went the same speed, I think. But what I did do was I waited for all the audio to stop. I think I s stopped here a little bit. But I waited for all the audio to stop and I made sure I landed on every single platform. And it's the same when you get here. Correction Labs, do not go up onto the plate, let the audio finish. As soon as the audio finishes, then go and access the... the as soon as the, everything's finished, go and access your chest. We know it's a trick, and then we're going to go down. So, here's the thing. When we go down, what we're going to try and do is take the overload first. Now, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I'll say it in the Hunter Room. There are two Cabal, two Vex at the bottom here, champions. Don't take both the Vex or both the Cabal. Take them one at a time. You need to give those enemies an enemy to look at. You know, because, right, see that the Overload, we'll take him, and there's my first brick of heavy. We are going to get more heavy, actually, down here, but I, I think I end up finishing the Unstoppable anyway. So we're going with the Overload Minotaur. So because we're going with the Overload Minotaur, we don't really want to take the other Vex Champion. So I'm just going to whittle the Unstoppable down. Because now we've got two Cabal and a Vex up. As long as we, you know, as long as the next enemy we take is a Cabal, there'll still be a Cabal and a Vex. They will still work on each other. So there's the champion. Crit shot. Crit shot. That's him dead. And you can see the two enemies there are still fighting each other. They're not focusing on me. So now we'll take this barrier. We need to crit him. There we go. Now we're just going to get this unstoppable ready to be finished. As you can see there. And now we'll finish him. And now once we get this heavy, we're going to get this brick in front. We're going to do a couple of things really quickly. Radiant with Wameli, Grenade, Super, and then finish him off with the Sleeper. Make sure you hit that crit. And as you can see there, the crit hit for 436,000. And we're hitting for 124,000 with our crit with the Sleeper. And there you go, guys. Pretty quick. 17 and a half minutes for a solo master on the Hunter. I I really enjoyed this. I haven't played Hunter for a while, so I think I'm going to start using the Hunter a bit more because I, he is, he, stroke she, whichever you've got, is very good. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you did enjoy it, a like and a comment would be much appreciated. Take it easy. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. But you all already got a cut. It's right there in front of you.